Guess what we doing today? <laughs> I don't think she has peanut butter in her mouth yet, but you can check. What are we doing today, girls? Say, we're gonna go to the moon! To the moon! <laughs> so somebody suggested that we make Dogecoin cookies. For those of you that do not know, Dogecoin is a cryptocurrency and it's kind of popular right now. And it features this cute little Shiba Inu on it. So we had some people suggest that we try to create a Dogecoin cookie and that's exactly what we're going to do. Now I got these cookie cutters off of Etsy. I will put a link for that and other things down in the video description below. If you don't have a cookie cutter like this, you can still make these cookies and cut them into whatever shapes you would like. But we are going to the moon and making some Dogecoin cookies. Let's get into it. Preheat your oven to 350. The first thing we will need is two cups of flour. I am using gluten-free flour. You can also use one cup of all-purpose flour plus one cup of whole wheat flour. Go to Google if you need to do your own conversions. We're gonna put this in the bowl. Next, we will be adding one large egg that I already beat a little bit. No! 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 All right, fine. One little lick. Okay, that was it. You just got one little lick. That was it. We're putting the rest of it in here. Quick, hurry, add it before they lick it. All right, here you go. I'm gonna lick the egg. There you go, lick it up. Oh man, that's good stuff. That's good for your coat. Yeah, it makes your coat nice and shiny. Yeah. Next, half a cup of unsweetened, unsweetened applesauce. You girls like applesauce? I'm, I'm gonna add it. Can I add it before you lick it? Ready? Three, two, one, go. Oh my gosh, go. Bloop. All right, here you go. Lick that bowl. Get it nice and clean for me, thanks. Oh my goodness, it's the best stuff. It's gonna make the best cookies. I also should mention, this is a really super simple cookie recipe. We're using this recipe because we wanna make really nice flat cookies that hopefully don't really rise or crack. The last thing you will need is da -da -da -da, a third of a cup of peanut butter. You want that, don't you? Now, for those of you that are gonna say, my dogs can't have peanut butter, can I use something else? You could use mashed sweet potatoes if you would like. That's usually what I have found to be the best substitute for peanut butter. And as always, make sure you don't have xylitol in your peanut butter. Everybody should know that by now, but I thought I would say it. Okay, can I, don't, can I put this in there before you lick it? Can, can I, can I, can I, no, can I put it in the, in the mixer before you, Lick it. Nope, you're gonna watch my hands. Okay, hold on. I don't think I can do this one-handed. Hold on, I'm got, I got it. No, I don't. I need a spoon. All right, peanut butter's in. Lick the bowl. Yes, please, yes, please, yes, please. Is that the best part? Hey, let Memphis have some. Is it, hey, let Memphis have some. Me Memphis would like a, look at your tongue. Nope, 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 nope. There you go, hurry up. She's distracted. She thinks there's some on the counter. All right. So now, we're gonna mix all this together. Oh my goodness. That looks about perfect. Now we're gonna ball that up. Yeah, are you gonna lick the beater? I guess. I could pull it off there and make it easier. Here, I took it off to make it easier. There you go. You both get your own side. Kira's like, no, lick it off the table. Good stuff? Is it the best? Best tasting stuff you ever had in your whole life? All right, well, let's make it into cookies now. Now, as always, you're gonna want your dough ball to be non-sticky. You'll notice it's not sticking to my hands. Kira is still licking the beater over here. <laughs> uh, so as long as it's not sticky, you're good. If it's sticky, add a little bit more flour. If it's too dry and it cracks, add just a little bit of water. Now we're gonna roll this out. So now I am taking my favorite rolling pin that I can adjust, and I am going to roll this dough out to about Hey, if you eat that, we're not gonna, if you eat that, we're not gonna have enough for cookie. Hey, you can't eat, can I eat it all? Hey, hey, can't eat it all. I'm gonna block it from you. <laughs> we're gonna roll this out to about one sixth of an inch for our first test. A quarter of an inch is probably what you'll use if you're just using standard cookie cutters. So let's see if this works. The moment of truth. I think it's gonna work. And I think Kira's gonna try to eat it all. Fine, if you get some, Memphis gets some too. What do you think, Memphis? Are we gonna go to the moon? To the moon! All right, we're gonna press out a whole bunch more of these and put them in the oven. I think 
think we did it. Now we are going to pop these in the oven for around 15 minutes. Memphis is like, I could just eat it now. So real quick, wow, the cookies are in the oven. We have some new merch. It says this isn't dog hair, it's husky glitter. This is available at shopsnowdogs.com or I will put a link down in the video description below. Memphis approves, do you approve of it? We got the blanket and a pillow and I have a t-shirt coming as well. The blanket is amazing, it's huge. It's huge, right? All right, back to making treats. Side note, treats, not a meal replacement, treats. Okay, let's do it. And of course, as always, if you guys would like to see more of our treat videos, there will be some links up in the cards and down in the video description below. Oh my goodness, I think we did it. They turned out so cute. They did crack a little bit, but not too much. Now, if you want them to be a little bit different, you could put some food coloring in these before to make them a little more yellow or whatever color. Or I have some like gold spray. I think I might spray a few with just for fun. But other than that, I think these are done. Let's see what the dogs think. Finished product, taste test time. Kira's like, and eh, now we eat mine here. Memphis is like, hey, can you pick this up off the table for me, please? How is that, huh? Yeah, good stuff? How about you? Is it good stuff? Is that, <laughs> she's like, mom, this cookie is a little bit not crunchy. Here you go, there you go, go ahead. There you go, you got it. Memphis is like, I would, I would help her eat it. No, let her eat it on her own. I figured you'd take it to your favorite eating cookie spot. Is it good? Do you like it? Good stuff? All right, I think that's a win. Are you going to the moon? To the moon. Well, I think these girls say it's a win. Are you gonna clean the counters now as well? <laughs> All right, you guys, if you end up making these for your dogs, tag us on Instagram. We would love to see how yours turned out, whether or not you use Doge cookie cutters or if you use a different type of cookie cutter. We would love to see how yours turn out. Tag us on Instagram at Gone to the Snow Dogs. And as always, you guys, thanks so much for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Stay positive, dream big, and we will see you again soon. Goodbye, guys.